about it a little bit this weekend. We've got rainy weather today, but people across the country and here at home are talking about today's annular eclipse of the sun. This is also referred to as the ring of fire and joining us live this morning to talk about some of the exciting things happening around this event and much more is Nick Anderson. He is the senior astronomer and the manager of astronomy for the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Nick, thanks for uh, being here this morning. We know people are kind of fired up when you mention the word eclipse in any fashion. Today is the annular eclipse. Kind of explain what's happening today and will we get to see it here in Northeast Ohio? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, so a, a number of Western U.S. states will have the chance to witness an annular eclipse today. And so that's when the moon passes directly in front of the sun, but the moon doesn't go around the earth in a perfect circle. So its distance uh, from the earth varies over time. And when the moon is a little bit farther away from the earth, it appears smaller. And during an annular eclipse, its angular size is not quite large enough to block out the sun completely. And so you're left with this bright ring of fire uh, around the uh, moon there, what's known as an annual annulus. Uh, now for us here in Cleveland, uh, if it does clear up, uh, I know it's a, a pretty gloomy day, we'll have the chance to see a partial solar eclipse where the moon will cover up uh, about a third of, of the sun's surface. And Nick, should we be thinking about protection, right? Eye protection whenever we're looking at the sun? Of course. Uh, so if even 1% of the sun's visible surface is showing, it's not safe to look up there with your naked eye. Uh, the only time you can do that is during a total eclipse of the sun and only for a few minutes, this brief period of time known as totality. Okay, so now today the planetarium here in Cleveland is going to be debuting its latest show. It's called Eclipse Fever. Tell us about this. Yeah, so uh, we're, we're really excited about this program. All of our shows are presented live by members of the astronomy team here at the museum. And we designed this show to really be your eclipse refresher, hearkening back to the event that occurred back in 2017. A lot of people will remember that. And it's covering all the basics. So, you know, what a solar eclipse is, different types of eclipses, a little bit of what you can expect, all the cool phenomena you can observe. And of course, you know, safety, that's our, our top priority. So talking about a, a number of different viewing methods. And one other quick question here, of course, April 2024, the total solar eclipse. Everyone's gearing up for this. So many people are expected to come to Northeast Ohio. Why is there so much fascination? This is an incredibly rare event to see in a particular location. It only happens about once every 375 years on a particular place on Earth. And it is a surreal experience, something you'll, you'll never forget for the, the rest of your life. Jaw-dropping beauty, it's strange otherworldly and we really hit the jackpot here um this is going to be a huge deal and we're planning lots of festivities for eclipse weekend uh, including a large-scale watch party on wade oval partnering with lots of other institutions here on university circle well nick thank you for being here this morning and explaining a lot of this cool science to us and of course the new feature at the planetarium we have more information on our website news5cleveland.com have a good day thanks all right so from